So I found some really nice mud when they were digging up our yard. It had some yellow pigment in it, and so I decided I wanted to make some paint. The problem is that my studio is entirely packed up, including all my equipment, like my grinder, my muller, my glass plate. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I could find stuff at the local thrift store to kind of replace all that stuff and see if I can still make some paint. So here's what I did. I let the mud dry out for a few weeks, and then normally I would have a mortar and pestle and grind this up, but I don't have that, so I ended up using a little miniature saw and using it like a rasp in order to get a fine dust. If you're doing a lot of this, you should definitely be wearing a mask. And then I totally scored and found this marble plate in the local thrift store. I think it was a cheese plate of some kind. So it's cold to the touch, and when you hold it up to the light, it looks like probably marble. Maybe it's uh, stone. I'm not sure, but either way, it'll work for mulling. And then you're going to want to sift your powder to get out any of the large chunks of stone that are still left. This is just an old tea ball that uh, made its way into the studio because it totally sucked for tea. And then I'm just adding the gum arabic, which is the watercolor medium used as a binder, smushing it around with my palette knife. And then after a bit of searching, I finally found these vintage salt and pepper shakers. And the main thing you need to look for is that they are flat, glass, and fairly sturdy. It's really important that it be perfectly flat on the bottom. It's the contact of the flat glass against the flat plate that helps to mull your pigment. And when you start mulling, it's probably going to have this really horrible kind of gritty sound like a fingernails on a chalkboard kind of vibe, but that eventually goes away. So here's the thrift store setup, and it totally works. Now I just need a little container to put my paint in. Did you happen to notice the shape on the bottom of the salt and pepper shakers? It was a perfect hexagon. I'm a sucker for a honeycomb pattern, so I had to try making some prints. And do you notice how it doesn't sound gritty anymore? A gorgeous yellow ochre honeycomb pattern, and each little print has its own dendritic design in it. I loved how this turned out so much. I made up a batch of black paint from willow charcoal that's been grown here on Gabriola. Again, normally I would be using my mortar and pestle for this, but I just kind of crunched it up with the bottom of my impromptu muller. And the charcoal paint came out a really beautiful flat black, matte, rich, and gorgeous.